If you watching this video, you probably done fumbled the bag with a few females that liked you and really wanted you to take that next step, but you was either too scared or couldn't pick up on those hints because you just didn't have the experience around females, bro. Like there was this one time back early, early in college when I was single, where there was this one girl that literally brought me back to her dorm and was like, oh, let's go to the room. But I was tired and it was late. So I was like, oh, no, nah, I think I'm going to go get some sleep. In other words, I C blocked myself because I could not read the signs or read the hints and I missed out on it tried to text her the next day didn't work because the thing about females is that if you do not pick up on the hints they gonna move on because they have other options and you my boy are in the same exact boat bro you are in the same boat to where you probably miss 90 percent of the girls that like you because you do not know how to tell if she likes you in the first place and you don't know how to pick up on hints bro all right because here's the thing stop thinking that you have to be this great alpha male who makes all this money and has the lambo and all these cars and stuff in order to attract women bro okay understand that there might be some girls that like you right now for you there's probably some girls right now at your school at your place of work that fuck with you for you bro you do not have to be the top dog none of that bro that's that bs bro go outside and touch grass it's ugly niggas that's out here getting females it's Average dudes that's out here getting females. Broke dudes is out here getting females. In other words, bro, don't be so overthinking. Don't be so so in your own brain. Don't be so focused on self-improvement that you think that girls don't like you right now, bro. I'm telling you. And I'm not saying not to self-improve, but what I am saying is that girls like dudes of all ranges, dog. I promise you that, bro. Go outside and touch grass and you will see a plethora of niggas getting females. All right. So with that, with that being said, bro, I'm going to show y'all easy ways to tell if a girl likes you. And I guarantee you probably got at least one girl that's doing at least one of these things. And if you don't think so, you will, because I'm not going to give you these basic tips. Oh, she's hugging up on you. Like, nigga, no shit. I'm going to be giving y'all that real, that real spill, bro. Like, let's get into it, bro. All right. So the first thing, first and easiest way to tell that she likes you, bro. Her eyes will dilate and she will have prey-like submissive eyes, bro. In other words, she gonna have the, the me eyes, bro. Me eyes. What these look like, right? When someone sees somebody that they are attracted to, this is for both men and women, right? But if a girl sees a dude that she's attracted to, her eyes, her, poop, her pupils will dilate about 45% or so, okay? Which means that she's going to have very, like, open eyes, you know what I'm saying? And they'll be very submissive, breathable-looking eyes, bro. She's going to basically look at you like... Like, like, like you a, like you a god. Like, you know what I'm saying? She gonna look at you. She gonna give you the F me eyes, bro. No cap. You gotta be able to pick up on this, bro. Like, she gonna be looking at you with these very doughy eyes. If you can pick up on this, bro, then that's an easy dead giveaway. You don't even need the rest of the tips. If you can pick up on that, you don't even need the rest of the tips because that's scientific. That's biological. When you see somebody that you're attracted to, uh, it's, it's chemicals that get released in your brain. You can't fight that. She can't fight that. She can say that she don't like you all she won't, but if them eyes gonna give it away, my God. All right, so pay attention to her eyes. If her eyes is big and they looking at you and you like, dang, like, why is she looking at me like that? You know what I'm saying? Her eyes is whatever. You know what I'm saying? She immediately, immediately pick up on that, fellas. All right, this is a dead, dead giveaway, bro. Dead giveaway. She gonna give you them prey eyes, bro. So look out for that. Look out for the eyes, first and foremost, all right? Secondly, let's get through it, bro. She will act extremely motherly. She will act extremely motherly. The reason why these women is going to act motherly when they like you, you know what I'm saying? You might be friends with a girl or maybe you barely knew a girl, whatever, but she's going to start to not necessarily baby you, but she's going to start doing things to where she's taking care of you, right? She might buy you food. Let's write some of this down. Buy you food. She might cook for you. You know what I'm saying? She might clean uh, 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 your, your car, your area, or your space. You know what I'm saying? She going to... Oops, I wrote, I wrote cook twice. Clean. She going to cook. She going to clean. You know what I'm saying? She will be there emotionally. Be there emotionally. When you're going through hard times, when a girl likes you, whether she, or she's your friend or whatever, she going to be there for you emotionally. Now, you might think, oh, well, Cam, don't regular friends do this? Yes, but to the extent that this woman, if she likes you, she's going to go to the deeper extent. Not only is she going to be there for you emotionally, but she's really going to feel that. You ever be linked up with a girl that you was homies with and you told her about some shit you was going through and she it really felt like she really deeply, deeply cared, bro? It's because she liked you. And the reason why women act so motherly, here, let me show you all the motherly things they do. They buy you food. They cook, they clean, they for you emotionally, right? 
The reason why women do this when they like a guy is because it's in their nature. They cannot stop themselves from acting as if they are a wife, right? She gonna act as if she's your girl, act as if she's your wife before you even make her your wife because she's trying to make herself as um, eligible as possible to be with you. It makes sense, right? Like we as men, what do we do? We act, ma we are masculine, right? We act a certain type of way when we around females because we know for a fact if we act goofy and shit like that, they gonna look at us like, what the hell? You know what I'm saying? We act masculine, you know what I'm saying? We act ourselves, you know what I'm saying? We don't act like we're nervous or scared. It's so that we can show these women that we are eligible, not just for that reason, but it does do that. It shows these women that we are eligible. How do women do this? They do this by already performing motherly girlfriend tasks before they even with you, bro. Okay, that's a 100% fact. That's the one. And don't let these girls lie to you, bro. If she's acting masculine and she's hard to talk to and she, you know what I'm saying, she not already, you know what I'm saying, doing these kind of girlfriend things before you, then the chances are she probably don't like you or her interest in you is extremely low. Now, there are always outliers, but I'm just telling you that this is the case most of the time. She's going to act very motherly towards you, bro. It's in her nature. Next, what's going to happen is, number three, she's going to act very emotional, extremely emotional bro all right what do i mean by she's gonna act extremely emotional what that means is um jokes you know little things she's gonna she's gonna act out more when you do little things right but what i mean by that is like let's say you make a joke you roast her you make fun of her right she might laugh and go along with it but she'll actually take what you say to heart right? Women get emotional around men that they like. Because if you around somebody that you don't like like that, let's say you around the homies, right? If you around the homies, you know what I'm saying? Y'all trading jokes back and forth. Y'all, y'all, whatever, bro. It's like, yeah, nigga, you short. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, you growth in the homies all the time, but you know you're not going to take it to heart because this is not somebody that you're attracted to in that type of way. It's not a romantic way. You know it's a friendship. You know what I'm saying? You know it's cool. You know it's like... Ah, uh, whatever I say, it don't it don't really matter, or it do matter what you say. But you know what I'm saying. At the end of the day, we all got thick skin. When you start getting with a woman and she show that she has very thin skin around you, you make jokes and she kind of take it to heart a little bit. You know what I'm saying. She might be a little emotional about it. You know what I'm saying. She might just be emotional around you in general. You know what I'm saying. She crying and shit like that, bro. It's because again, kind of like the motherly thing, she's trying to show herself as a feminine type woman, right? And what do feminine women? They are emotional, right? And not only emotional, but they are okay with expressing their emotions in certain type of ways not just letting everything spill out but she's okay with letting her emotions show because at the end of the day they're looking to be what protected and provided for on a biological scale my guy so she gonna be emotional she may not be able to take jokes you know what i'm saying she may be thin-skinned and shit like that she's not gonna not fuck with you no more but she's gonna feel like oh she's gonna take everything that you say to heart bro i promise you that everything that you say is like a knife to her heart bro you know what i'm saying in other words Let's say you about to tell her a joke. This is the joke, my nigga. This is her heart right here, bro. It's gonna, you know what I'm saying, bro? It's gonna stab her in the heart, dog. I'm telling you. So you gotta be careful sometimes when you're around these females, bro. But if they really emotional around you, that is another clear sign that she's rocking with you, dog. All right? Now, next, this is number four, okay? She will discourage you from being around other females, bro. All right? There was a time, hold on. She will discourage will discourage hanging with females all right fellas we've all been through it where we have a female friend or a female that we know and we're like hey put us on game with your home girl whatever 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 they will not actually do this for you they might say oh yeah i'll do this for you i'll set you up i'll set you up and they might actually do it but in the back of their minds they hate it they hate it and they'll do anything for it to not work out why it's because she only wants you to rock with her bro she only wants you to rock with her bro it's extremely simple all right let me draw you a real quick diagram all right these circles are all the females that you might be interested in bro this circle is her right and this x right here is you now what does logic say logic says okay if you are interested in females then why not look this way where you have a bunch more females right but what do we know about female nature we know for a fact that they are extremely competitive so she will do whatever she can to get you from looking over here to looking over here how does she do that well these two things that i just told you about these three things the eyes the motherly love the emotionalness 
she's trying to make herself appear more feminine so that she can stand out from her other peers, right? In other words, the roles kind of reverse for a hot second, right? When a girl likes you and she's really trying to attract you, okay, she's already chosen you, okay? Let me, because let me draw this other diagram real quick. She's already chosen you, X, X. And I did this diagram in another one of my videos. This is the female and these three X's are three dudes. We know that women have to choose the guy, but I didn't keep going. Women have to choose the guy, but the guy also has to accept the woman. So in a case where a girl already likes you, even though you may not know it yet, what's going to happen is she already chose you, right? But she's waiting for you to accept her. So now the roles reverse. Now the roles reverse. You are now in this position to where you get to choose, right? Now you get to choose whether or not you like her or not. Now you get to choose whether or not she's shown traits that are uh that are that are eligible to be your girl. Okay? So now now you have the power, which brings us to our final point. If a girl likes you, it will will definitely feel too easy. It's young gunner and your easy man. It's just too easy. It's gonna feel way too easy. I know that's a easy, bro. Excuse my handwriting. I'm, I know, I know, I know. Don't roast me. Don't roast. Don't roast your boy. But it will feel way too easy to talk to her, and it will feel too easy to make her your girlfriend because she will have made herself appear so feminine, appear so eligible, so submissive to you already that it'll be like, bro, this is an easy lick. I could really do this. But what happens nine times out of 10 is that a lot of guys, they either miss out on this or they either think, eh, maybe I, I don't know. I don't know. We're just friends. Like, it's whatever. And then what happens is she starts to lose interest. All these signs go away. And now you're stuck holding the bag because now you're like, dang, maybe I should have. Dang, maybe I should have, I should have did that. Maybe I should have, I should have. You always think of the, I should have, would have, could have, should have, would have, could have. All right. But what I'm saying is if it feels too easy, just go ahead and go where you liked. Because a lot of dudes go where they're unliked and it makes it a lot more difficult. Like, let me show you the diagram again. A lot of dudes, right? She already done chose you. This is what most Negroes do. They go all over the place. Instead of going to where the girl already chose them, they run the other way and try to get all these females that, guess what, don't like him. They all running away from him too, right? So it's like a track race. Everybody just running from each other. The girl that chose you, you running from her, right? You, cho you, 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 you choosing all these other girls, they running from you, okay? Fellas, go where you're liked. Go where the arrow is pointing to you. Go this way, fellas. Go... That way, fellas, because she already done chose you. Go where you liked, all right? So if you pick up on any of these signs, bro, go ahead and make that move. You know what I'm saying? Shoot your shot. Chances of you making it is 99.9%. .9%, and that's all I got for y'all. I'm out of here, my boy. Peace.